Welcome back everyone. It is finally Friday. We made it to the end of the work week and by the way, winter's going to take a little hiatus over the next couple of days, but it is not done yet and I'll tell you why in just a bit. First of all, here is the satellite radar summary. It is very quiet across the board. We're finally seeing some sunshine mixed in the clouds. We'll have more sunshine as the day goes on and take a look at the temperatures right now. Already in the mid 80s out west in McAllen, lower 80s in Edinburgh, Raymondville, Harlingen, upper 70s in Port Isabel, 81 in Brown and 83 in Rio Grande City. It is breezy out there as expected. We've got winds from the south to southeast between 17 to 24 miles an hour with a gust of 32 in Harlingen, 29 in Brownsville and 24 in Edinburgh. So here's that day planner forecast. It will stay breezy, of course, warm for this afternoon with temperatures in the mid 80s at 3 p.m. We should even see mostly sunny skies in some parts by 6 p.m. with temperatures in the lower 80s down to 73 at 9 o'clock this evening. If it plans tonight, Yes, there is a slight chance for some showers overnight and a chance for some patchy fog. But again, this is after midnight. Take a look at the temperatures. There's a big difference. We have a cold front stretched over the central portion of the state. So ahead of the front, the temperatures right now in the mid 80s here in McAllen, upper 70s in Houston, but much colder or chillier behind the front. Behind the front, only 65 in Austin, 57 in Dallas, Fort Worth, 50 in Abilene, 53 in Midland, and 37 degrees. The cold spot in Amarillo. Now, sadly, that front is not making its way into the valley. It's going to stall out just north of here for the weekend and most likely fizzle out. So for us, it will just stay warm and humid and breezy for tomorrow and for Sunday with mostly cloudy skies. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer for a cool down perhaps to get here. Here is future track again. That front stalls out for this weekend just north of the valley. There's a very slight chance for some showers tonight and tomorrow morning and you see it stays warm for tomorrow and Sunday with high temperatures both days in the lower 80s and then for Monday and Tuesday still warm with temperatures in the low to mid 80s, but another front comes in by the middle of next week. So we are thinking that at least by Thursday, maybe even Wednesday afternoon, the temperatures will finally cool off into the 60s. So if you hate the warm weather, we think there is a cool down just in time for the second half of next week, but we're going to have to wait and things could change with the timing of the front. But at this point, we think it's going to be cooler, especially for Thursday. On the water, we'll have winds out of the southeast at 10 to 15 knots, gusting to 30 at times. Bay waters are moderate chop. Next tide is a high tide at 527 p.m. and the seas are 2 to 4 feet. So for today, it becomes mostly sunny, of course, warm and still Breezy with high temperatures in the mid 80s. There are your winds out of the south southeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting to 25 at times. Then for your Friday night, should be dry at least for the first half of the evening. Throughout late tonight, there is a slight chance for some showers and a better chance for some patchy overnight fog after midnight. Increasing clouds, but very mild and muggy with temperatures in the upper 60s. And here's that seven day forecast. Look at that. We continue in the lower 80s for Saturday and Sunday. It's mostly cloudy and breezy both days of the weekend. Very slight chance for a shower in the morning on Saturday and the high temperatures are in the mid 80s for Monday and Tuesday. There is a slight chance for some showers in the morning on Monday due to the proximity of that front that's fizzling out, but it stays warm for Tuesday and at least for the first part of Wednesday. We're going to put in a chance for some scattered evening showers and thunderstorms Wednesday, and at this point we think it should finally cool off just in time for next Thursday with high temperatures in the lower 60s. That's your first four and five forecast. Back to you, Gabby.